Nice to meet you, my dear friend. Hi, Jessica. It's a cool day today. How are you? I am good. It's a nice weather today. That guy over there is tearing at you. Did you see him? I know. He is trying to talk to me and I am avoiding him. I am a Christian, you know. He tried coming towards me and I avoided him. I am happy I made him fall for me though. But you are a Christian, aren't you? The dress that you are wearing is making men come behind you. Furthermore, you are already married. It is not good to wear revealing clothes to attract other men. I guess you are jealous of other men being attracted to me. Well, I am not going around with other men. I am faithful to my husband. I am just making others see me. That's it. Well, you are enticing other men to come behind you. You are causing others to lust and sin. Yes, that's true. Bible says, He that looketh upon a woman to lust after her, has already committed adultery with her in his heart. But there is punishment for provoking a person to lust as well. Repent and confess your sins to God and he will forgive you. Since you are a Christian, your body is the temple of God. Clothes are not to reveal our body, but to cover our body. Well I feel bad, and my conscience is pricking me. Pray God and the blood of Jesus can clean all your sins and help you to overcome. I realize my mistake now. Thanks for your counsel. God, forgive me my errors. I repent for causing others to sin. May God bless you with peace and joy in your heart. I am happy for you. Let's go and order a pizza. Thanks Jessica, let's go. I hope the story helped you understand why we should not wear revealing clothes. Bible says, whose outdoning let him not be that outward outdoning of politing the hair, and of wearing of gold, or of putting on of apparel, but let it be the hidden man of the heart, in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of the meek, and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of great prize, 1 Peter, 3 verse 3 and 4. God bless you all.